Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. We are doing a productivity news update because there is a lot of things happening in the productivity space and we will just start off with Super Notes uh, and they have released their Super Notes 3.1 which is a huge update and I won't be able to go over every bit of it. I will link their video down below so you can check it out for yourself but I will cover the main parts. So one of the best things is that we now have a custom collection so you can add your own collections into here and there are two ways of doing it. You can either use uh, AI superpowers so use an AI prompt to generate a collection or you can create a collection from the current view filters and you can change the filters here by using this JSON editor. Uh, you can give this a name, a description and an icon and you have quite a few icons to choose from and you can also give it a color right here. Uh, so that is a really cool update, something a lot of people have been wanting to have custom uh, collections. They had uh, collections previously like the Tots one right here but now you can create your own. The second thing that I am going to mention is that you can now add or use AI inside of it and one of the ways is to make a collection and make a prompt to make a collection but the other way which I find kind of interesting because it is a different view on AI inside of productivity apps is the fact that Supernotes uh, is thinking about the fact that whenever you use AI to write something for you you aren't actually learning the thing you're only pressing enter and getting some output which I think is a really cool idea to think about uh, and they have implemented AI differently so they want to help you automate or make the tasks that doesn't matter a lot easier for example adding tags or uh, fixing spelling mistakes so the AI will highlight your spelling mistakes or highlight some tags you can press to add as well uh, some uh, tags that you have previously made and that is a really cool implementation of AI and you also actually have to press it to be able to fix the mistake or to add the tag which can make it easier for you to remember in the future. I would probably need the spelling one because I have actually been spelling resources wrong in all of the different productivity apps. If you go a few videos back and look at how I spell resources, I have an A in it and I was never able to learn that. So that would have been great for me. But as I said, this is a huge update. And just to show you the release notes of this, uh, we have new print dialog here, we have new desktop and mobile menus, easier app opening, multiple email addresses and a lot of improvement and fixes. And I mentioned something in one of my previous uh, videos about Supernotes and that was the problems I had with the syntax. So I wanted it to be available to uh, press double square brackets and actually link to a card that is something they have added as well as the ability to tag just by writing hashtag and uh, writing out your tag finding the right one so that is also to uh, quality of life improvements I am really happy with uh, so super notes is continuously developing still one of the best apps for students but a lot of people is using it for PKM as well. The next thing we are going to touch on is actually Heptabase and Heptabase wants to be the place of where you are able to uh, gather knowledge and work on complex systems or complex ideas and now they have actually added a web clipper right here and we are going to test the first version of the web clipper so let's just jump into uh, one of the newspapers right here and let's clip this and it does and now we can jump back into my card library and we can find this card right here and it has clipped the whole entire uh, article right here except from the images and the videos 
so this is an early stage uh, web clipper so it needs a bit of improvement before it is at the level that many other apps are at um, but it is a great start and I love the fact that there is a web clipper now I think this will be useful for a lot of people who read articles and take notes from articles and want to clip whole articles so this is a improvement but I would still like to see the web clipper get a lot better uh, where it is at the level where you can clip uh, just parts of the text or add your own notes and so on and so forward. I have been trying to clip uh, just a bit of text both by trying to right click but I can't see the um, I can't see the heptabase one right here. Can you see how many um, web clippers I have right here? How many apps I've been testing out? Uh, and I've also tried to just highlight it and press the heptabase button, the web clipper button right here, but it ends up actually clipping the whole article again. So still needs some improvement, but it is a great start. The last one and probably the most exciting one is Tana and Tana's pricing plan. You can see that it has made some changes and if we jump in here and just write Tana Inc. You can see that they have changed this title. I don't know if they did this recently but here it says where AI can do real work. So Tana is working towards becoming an AI platform or a place where AI thrives and they released their pricing plan as well and we are going to take a look at it. So the pricing plan is $10 each month build yearly or $12 each month build yearly on the early access plan which they are calling the pioneer pricing which isn't too bad. I actually like this pricing. I would probably pay $12 each month for an app like this but their main pricing after the early access will be $14 each month if built yearly and $18 each month if built uh, monthly which is pretty steep so uh, considering that um, considering that roam research is considered to be an expensive application and the same goes for mem this is actually priced higher uh, and the monthly plan is 18 dollars which is a lot of money i think it is uh, a little steep on the other hand you get ai with 5000 uh, 5000 credits each month which is a lot of credits uh, you get uh, chat gpt 40 and the ability to chat with your content ai meeting assistant and custom ai agents live transcriptions voice recordings audio enabled super tags and fields and uh, i have seen a little bit on twitter or it's x it's x now i've seen a little bit of talk about the fact that people would rather like to pay a little less and just bring their own api key from uh, open ai uh, i've seen that people mention that and that might have been an a possibility and it might still be a possibility i'm not sure uh, this pricing model actually came yesterday so there isn't a lot more information or i haven't actually been able to find a lot more information but this is looking like the pricing right now you also get the smart integration so gcal sync input api access and the readvice integration that a lot of people have been working on outlook is next up and outlook is always slow i have an outlook email so i am never able to integrate it with anything uh, you get unlimited shared workspaces, 10 gigabyte file storage and an add-on for more. No limits on file size uploads and password protection on published pages. The free plan is actually quite good on this one. You get all Tana editor capabilities up to three shared workspaces uh, up to uh, 0.5 gigs of file storage and uh, 5 megabytes file upload which isn't the worst uh, free plan I have seen out there I still think that the 
Pro plan inside of Tana is a lot better than the free plan uh, because you get the AI and that is one of the main selling points or it has actually become one of the main selling points, a place that AI thrives and having a workspace that works great with AI. Uh, and when it comes to the alpha plan, which everyone is on right now, which is the free plan we are all using, that will cease to exist uh, at the end of June. And if you downgrade to the free plan, the limits will start kicking after this date, which is, um, again, a good thing. Uh, you also get a 14-day free trial on the core plan with the Pioneer price. Um, so you can try this out and see whether or not it works for you. As I've said before, I like Tana. I think it's a really good app and I may be a little biased since it is from a Norwegian company and I like to see Norwegian companies innovate and come up with things and ideas. But I like this app this is the only place where you can do backlinking and research and uh sort of a graph way and interlinked workspace where you can do your research and you can also get this structured view in a database with a lot of different views so they have the calendar view for example uh, and they have this uh, list or database view this is the only app that actually offers that so i still think that a lot of people will be paying for it because they are offering something that isn't on the market but the pricing feels a little expensive in my personal opinion uh, but again if you think it's worth it it probably is worth it if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching today's video